Here's how to do keyframe animation in Flixier. Keyframes allow you to move or resize videos, images, text, and shapes based on a time frame. You can use them to zoom in on certain parts of a video, or make text and shapes move from point A to point B as time passes by in your video. To be even more precise, you can use keyframes to tell the editor that you want this text that's positioned on the left side of the screen in the first second of the video to get to the right side of the screen over the next second. You're essentially creating an animation that moves your text over to the right side of the screen in the span of one second. There are two ways to add keyframes to an object in your video. You can add keyframes using the Properties panel. To do that, select your object on the timeline, head over to the Properties panel on the right side of the screen, and open the Animation section. Here you can choose from a number of predefined animations, or click on Custom to create your own animation using keyframes. Another way to add keyframes to a video is to right-click on a video in the timeline and choose Add Keyframe, or press K on your keyboard. Both methods will result in two keyframes being added to the object, represented by these two dots. The first dot marks the start of your animation, and the second dot marks the ending. To create an animation, click on the first keyframe to select it. You'll notice that selected keyframes always appear in red on the timeline. Now that your keyframe is selected, you're free to resize or reposition your object. You can also leave it as is, since this will be the starting point of your animation. Next, click on the second keyframe. You can resize your object and move it around. This will be the end state of your animation. Flixier will automatically register these changes. Note how a message pops up in the lower left side of the screen to let you know that your keyframe has been updated. You'll also notice that an arrow appeared between the two keyframes in the timeline to show that an animation is going to happen there. All you have left to do now is go back and play the video to see your animation in action. Please note that after you add one animation to an object, Flixier will automatically create new keyframes every time you reposition or resize that object in order to make it easier to create complex animations. If you want to save some time, you can use Flixier's preset animations by going to the Properties panel. When you select an animation preset, two keyframes will automatically be added to the object, and the animation will be created automatically. You can see that we already have an arrow between the two points without us having to go in and update any values manually. Of course, you can still make changes to each of these keyframes manually by clicking on either of the dots and selecting a different position or size. You can also change the length of your animation by clicking and dragging your keyframes along the length of your video in the timeline. If you want to delete a keyframe, you can select it on the timeline and then choose Delete Keyframe in the Properties panel. Animation easing slows down or speeds up your animations a little to make them look smoother or have them appear more natural or dynamic. The changes themselves are subtle, but easing will improve the look and feel of your animations a lot. Here you can see three shapes. They're all set to do the same animation, but we've applied different types of easing to showcase the differences. To change the easing of an animation, click on the starting keyframe and select the easing type from the Properties panel. You can also choose whether you want to ease the beginning of your animation, the ending, or both. We suggest playing around with this option as it can drastically change the feel of your animations and make them look a lot more professional. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips, tricks, and video tutorials.